Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is the next update for uh, Celebrity Signings. Um, basically all of the uh, autographs that I've received since the last video update. I'm obviously keeping this a bit more uh, steady now. Um, trying to reduce the gaps between the, the videos. Um, this one is going to be very book heavy. Um, as you probably know if you watched my last video, um, I'm, I'm currently into collecting signed books. Not, not so much ordering... Um, uh, sort of brand new ones from Waterstones and whatever, but but kind of scouring the charity shops um, and and finding bargains. Uh, so that's what I've done here. So let's crack straight on, see what I've got in this new update. So the first uh, book that I got was this one, um, uh, Only Dad, written by Alan Titchmarsh. Um, people from the UK will certainly know Alan as as a presenter, a gardener. Um, this is one of his uh, sort of um, fictional books, and um, as you can see, it's signed by the author. And uh, if I click on that, you can see his signature here. Uh, I believe I picked this one up for somewhere between 50p and a pound uh, in the charity shop a couple of weeks ago. Um, new addition to the collection. Don't have Alan in there before, so um, not, not, necessarily, it's not necessarily somebody I would have targeted to write off to through the mail, um, but more than happy to add him to the book collection. Uh, next up, very similar, someone I, you know, I, I probably wouldn't necessarily target through the mail, um, but somebody I recognise from Great British, Great British Bake Off predominantly, it's Nadia Hussein, uh, and this was her book, uh, Nadia Finding My Voice, I believe this one was a pound, again in the charity shop, I very rarely pay more than sort of between 50p and a pound. And uh, this one is dedicated to Abby. Love Nadia, um, but that's absolutely fine. I don't mind dedications in books. It's not the end of the world. Um, and yeah, another new addition to the collection there. Uh, next up, this was actually from the same bookshop that I got the Nadia um, uh, Hussein um, Finding My Voice book. And it's Michael McIntyre's uh, autobiography, A Funny Life. Michael McIntyre, again, probably maybe not known outside the UK necessarily, um, but he's comedian and um, game show presenter. Uh, he's got his own sort of like Saturday night entertainment show. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Michael McIntyre, if I'm totally honest. But again, this is really cool. I believe this was a pound as well. Um, and it is typed as signed by the author so you know sometimes they uh you know you don't necessarily know whether it's a real signing or not but this one is signed by the author inside and you can see his signature it doesn't have a sticker on the front um but that's fine because it got signed by the author inside so that's michael mcintyre uh next up i believe this one was also a pound this is a charity shop purchase different day not on the same day uh this is greg rutherford who is a british olympian he's won several olympic medals over the course of a few different olympics won lots of commonwealth medals etc um i believe he's a uh, sort of track athlete or kind of track and field athlete i'm not sure if he's a is he a long jumper I want to say he's a long jumper, but I'm not 100% sure. I know he's Olympian, though. Um, and, yeah, this is his book, Unexpected, his autobiography. And as you can see here, it's uh, signed inside by Greg Rutherford. Again, not somebody who would have targeted necessarily through through the mail, but um, I do like sort of collecting Olympian stuff. There's quite a, uh, a nice... Um, I don't know, something that I kind of wanted to start collecting for a little while, I guess, is adding sort of Olympians to my collection. So I've got a couple, but, but not many. Uh, so this was a nice addition to the collection. Uh, next up, another one here. Um, this is Chris Evans, not the Avengers uh, actor. Um, the British uh, sort of presenter. He did TGI, uh, TGI Friday and the um, uh, kind of like um, Don't Forget Your Toothbrush. He, he presents on, I think it's it was Virgin Radio. I don't know if it is Virgin anymore. I see a million copies of his books in charity shops all the time. But this is the first one I've ever seen signed. Uh, you can see he's got the signed sticker at the top, and you can see his signature there, Chris Evans. I've got him already on something else, uh, I think just like a promotional shot from one of his radio shows, um, but nice to have the book all the same. As I say, I see hundreds of copies of his books, but I've never seen a signed one, so really pleased to get this. Um, this, this one's really random. So this was I picked this up at a Tesco book donation point. Um, I, we've got one in our local Tesco's, and I always have a little browse. I think I found one Henry Blofeld cricketer autobiography signed there once before. You just give whatever donation you want to give the book. This one is really random. So it's a guy called John Stalker. He's a former police officer and also TV host. Um, and he, he was tasked to look into the killing of some IRA 
um, suspects or, or IRA members, um, and there's, it was quite a controversial thing. And uh, the, the backstory is really interesting. If you go and read his his Wikipedia page, it's really interesting. But um, he became quite a sort of TV celebrity in his own right based upon this work that he did once he left the police force. Um, and I just spotted this. Not normally sort of book I would have picked up, but it just looked interesting because it was called Stalker, and I thought it was something different. Uh, and inside, you can see here it is signed by John Stalker in uh, February '88 in Cardiff, and it's also signed by his wife Stella as well, which is which is interesting. His his wife, a little interesting factoid here, um, <clears throat> is the reason that we currently have the Dangerous Dog Act that we do in the UK. His wife was attacked by a dog, and he fought to then push the dangerous, the updated Dangerous Dog Act through Parliament. So. Um, yeah, really interesting sort of background story for this guy. Not so, not something I'd normally look at, but um, yeah, just something slightly out of the ordinary. So I'm pleased to add that one to the collection. Probably cost, I think it cost whatever change I happened to have in my pocket at the time, which is never a lot. Um, I think it was like a terrible, it was about 20p or something. I don't think I paid more than that. So there we go. Um, next up is one of the only non-books in the collection. And this was a purchase direct from Katy Perry's website to, um, to advertise her new uh, CD, so I bought the CD, I think it was about 10 or well, thereabouts, 10, 12 pounds. Um, and then you got this signed art, um, signed card with it, not an art card, signed card. It's a great picture, to be fair. She looks looks great in it. Um, and it's a really nice, big, bold signature as well. So that's really cool. I don't have Katy Perry in my collection or didn't until now. Um, so pleased to add Kate, Katy Perry. Um, I think most people know who Katy Perry is. I don't think I particularly need to go into details of who she is. Um, but yeah, really nice addition to the collection there. Uh, next up um, is one for my um, Manchester United collection. As you know, anybody who's watched my videos, I'm a Manchester United supporter. And I've been trying to collect autographs from former Manchester United managers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and um, this was definitely missing from the collection. This is Wilf McGuinness. He only managed Manchester United for a year um, when the former uh, manager, uh, Sir Matt Busby, uh, left uh, Manchester United. And so uh, he took over for a year. <clears throat> it didn't go particularly well. He It's this situation of somebody stepping in to fill the boots of a legendary manager and he just didn't live up to expectations but um bought this copy of his book it is water damaged unfortunately um so you can see the signature page is not in great condition the front cover is not in great condition but um yes in terms of in terms of sort of history and a new addition to the manchester united manager collection uh really pleased to to have that uh, next up is another charity shop purchase. This is Craig Charles, best known for Red Dwarf. He plays Lister in the TV series Red Dwarf. Um, I don't have... It's weird. I was thinking about this the other day. I love Red Dwarf, and I've got photos of all the cast. Um, but, I've, but I've only got two signatures, I think, and it's the two car uh, actors who played Holly, um, Norman Lovett and... Um, oh, God, that name's gone out of my head. The, the lady, blonde-haired lady who played... Holly as well. I can't remember her name at the moment. Um, but anyway, um, so I spotted this. Definitely going to pick this up. It's paperback, um, which is quite odd because you don't tend to find many, as many paperbacks signed as you do hardbacks. But um, it's a copy of The Log, which is a Red Dwarf book. And you can see it's signed here inside by Craig Charles. So uh added Craig to, to the Red Dwarf collection and to the signed book collection, which is, which is great. Uh, and last up, and this is probably my favorite pickup of the last year or certainly my book collection for a long time and it's a copy of uh long way down it's in fact my second copy of long way down and this is signed by ewan mcgregor and charlie borman the authors of the book uh i predominantly bought this for ewan mcgregor's autograph obviously ewan mcgregor's best known as um obi-wan kenobi and star wars in the prequels uh, and films like train spotting and loads and loads and loads of other stuff i um, mean his autograph is going for ridiculous amounts of the money at private signings and that kind of thing uh, and this was two pound um it, which is just bonkers and you can see here it is signed by ewan mcgregor really nice clear bold signature um as i say this is my second copy i think the first one i probably paid no more than about a 10 or 4, but to get this for 2 quid is an absolute bargain. So I'm really, really pleased to have added this one again to the collection. I've got no issues with having multiple copies of the same signed book. For anybody who's been following me and seen the amount of John Cleese signed books I've got, you'll you'll know that already. Um, but yeah, fantastic uh, addition with this Ewan McGregor to add to the collection. 
and that is it for this video um that's all my updates for now there's loads more that, that this, that's come in in terms of new books i bought um and a few other bits and pieces some ttms not many but some um so you'll see those in some upcoming videos thank you for watching uh please do like subscribe or and comment because i love to read comments from people so please do that um it's very much appreciated and your time watching this video is appreciated as well uh thank you very much and i will speak to you again very soon in the next video take care bye bye